Cinema, where we watch all the movies. Today is a review of Martin Scorsese's latest, The Wolf of Wall Street. Uh, I am going to do a Scorsese series. Uh, what's funny enough, I was asked by a friend why I didn't have a Scorsese section, which I now do, and then I realized I was only missing, like, two movies. So, I now have them all, and we'll do an entire Scorsese retrospective at some point. Wolf of Wall Street, I didn't see it until it was released on Blu-ray. I purposely avoided it, and I avoid all spoilers or anything else. I didn't really know what to expect other than it was Scorsese's new movie and who was in it. This is a great, great movie. I, I was really impressed. I mean, yeah, Scorsese never makes bad movies, ever, but this is just... Balls out insanity. A very, you know, it, it plays on excess in such a perfect way and just, just relishes in everything that's over the top. Like, smoke some crack with me, bro. Just classic lines like that. <laughs> She's so hot, you gotta fuck her, man. Great lines. Um, it's the story of a. Jordan Belfort and how he made all this money selling penny stocks and then became this shady stockbroker, or they're all kind of shady, um, and his life story. But it's so over the top, it works as a movie, much like A Pain and Gain was. And, and this has a very similar feel, where everything is slightly over the top, but it at the same point you're reminding yourself, oh wait, this actually did happen to some extent. And, I, I mean, the dynamics of the characters are great. DiCaprio should have won an Oscar for it. It's absolutely ridiculous he didn't. You can tell that they just don't like him. He's not part of that crowd. But he's phenomenal in it. Um, everybody's phenomenal in it. Even Jonah Hill, which I'm not, not really that much of a fan of. He's fantastic in this, too. Um, I, there is nothing negative I can say about the movie. It's three hours long, and I laughed the entire time. Not as in a comedy, but laughing with the movie. Let, let's put it that way. It was never inappropriate laughing, but with it. Um, all the people I was with really liked it, and uh, some of them can't get through long movies usually, and they didn't even realize it was three hours, and it blows by that time. Uh, this is a multi-watch movie for sure. Absolutely fantastic on every level. All the trademark Scorsese stuff's in there. Um, even the moral tales that he always uses, he, he repeats them. You know, uh, the woman, the, the, the lover of the main character, you know, always the downfall. Um, drugs are bad, okay? Uh, <laughs> Quaaludes, though, seems very interesting. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, 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 a wholehearted recommendation. For Oscar movies... Um, that were nominated or whatever. This, to me, was the best movie that had any kind of accolades. I, I, it should have won everything, as far as I'm, as I'm concerned. I enjoyed some of the other ones as well, but this is just so much better than everything else I've seen that were in the Oscar categories that I can't, I, I, I can't deny it. Um, as far as the release here, Honestly, it sucks. I, it's got a cute, cool slipcover, but again, it's just the same thing. Um, it's the Blu-ray and the DVD, and you get a feature at... That's it. You know, I, I don't know, will we get more later? Who knows? A lot of these... You know, DiCaprio isn't very uh, public-y or, or behind-the-scenes friendly, and Scorsese kind of hasn't been um, lately. With like, He didn't do commentary in the last couple, so... I don't know if there will be more, you know, so uh, since that's all you get, the Blu-ray is only a 6 out of 10, but you can probably guess what the movie is, it's a 10 out of 10. Watch this thing. It's fucking awesome. We'll see you here next time at Movie Mayhem.